Hello, this is Simon Sherborne from Avid. I'm here today in Glasgow with MediaSpec and we're looking at the Pro Tools S3 and Dock control surfaces. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the dock. So you can see here I have this track screen which is mirroring my project in Pro Tools, allowing me to navigate the session and giving me a high level view of everything that I'm working with. It's all color coded. I can use this to bank my S3, to focus tracks on the console, and to get in and do things like my EQ and panning. So to do that, whichever track is selected, I can swap into a channel view. And this is going to give me a view into the EQs and the um, panning and dynamics. So let's choose a track that's actually panning into the stereo field. So there's my panner. Um, I can look at my EQ. Whichever plugin I'm using for EQ will be brought up using a unified um, standard set of controls, which I can use from the screen or from the knobs here. Uh, I can get at my aux sends, um, my input assignments, I can add plugins. So I get a lot of control on individual channels from the screen. Um, on the main surface, we have transport. We have a master fader. So if I'm using the dock on its own, I can use this one fader to give me touch sensitive uh, automation control. If we have the S3 as well, they work together. Um, so let's have a look at, at some of those features. On the S3, right now I'm looking at, again, 16 faders from my Pro Tools session. Um, I can bank through the session. Let's look at the mixer window here. So you can see that whatever I'm seeing on the desk is always what I'm seeing on the screen as well, which the color coding here is showing me. Um, I can also get into my EQs from this screen just by pressing the button in the top row, and then I can back out. So all my functions are on the top rows of uh, encoders here. Panning is on the second row of encoders. Um, we can also uh, use a powerful group navigation control. So with VCA faders, I can immediately bring them to the surface. Now these four faders are now dedicated to group masters. So as I bank my project, you can see that these four faders are staying the same. And these are now showing me group masters for my drums vocals and my effects returns. And I can immediately bring any of those to the surface by double clicking that channel. So you can see I have master control of my vocals or master control of my effects. And notice that the uh, master control is also then being mirrored on my dock. So this is very powerful console style functionality from a desktop size controller. OK, so that's the Pro Tools S3 and Dock. If you need any more information, please visit Mediaspec at mediaspec.co.uk.